Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Man of Medan. Hello. The actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Please come in. And it's dead. You didn't fucking see that? Hallucinating. No. Of course he didn't. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. Yeah, except for the real pirates. I found it! Oh. Almost walked right past it. Okay. Okay. To me. I got the news to me, don't I? Hey! Hey now! Don't Good news. We're alive. Can you just give us the cap? Seventy-two rivets in this room, which can only mean one thing. I've been in here way too long. Hey, is anyone hurt down there? Shit, I gotta go after him. Are those juniors gunshots? We gotta go make sure everyone's okay. Shit. Well, what's our plan? You're gonna stay here with the radio. I'll go after him. What if something happens to you? I'm a big boy. This is my mess, and I'll clean it up. I'll be standing by with radio. Good luck down there. Okay. Oh, come on, around the wall. Does Conrad know it's hallucinations? Is he informed or is he still not know? <laughs> well, he's seeing shit anyway. behind this door. Nothing. Or a locked door. Oh, great. Sleeping quarters. Oh, oh. See you over there. Ooh, you're golden. What? A little hope. Oh, is that like a teaser for the next game? Okay. I guess so. Saw something shiny over here. Fortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. If you look at the remains of any missing persons in the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. Okay, so it wasn't a kid in the casket. It was just, uh, they ran out.
<sighs> oh, just a skeleton. So now you know you're seeing stuff, right? God damn. How the hell big is this place? That the uh, gold? Okay. Hey, cool out. Come on. Nobody's got to get hurt. All right, or maybe they do. Uh, I'm just going to be on back off. Hey, it's cool, man. You're armed. Cool. I'm not. We can talk this out, man. We can bond over how much we hate this boat. Really? So you think that's the best solution here? Bearing updated. What happened? Uh oh. Good job. I need that thing, please. I, Joe, where'd you come from? <laughs> Hey, there's your gold. Take it. Get out of there! Come on! Where's Alex? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna shut the door? Oh, it's gonna be like an action movie. Uh, do it now. Hopefully, it's a slow shutter. No, no. Oh boy. <laughs> Get off. Oof. That could have been bad for me. Good job, Julia. You killed a man. Let's look. They were able to retrieve the distributor cap from Olsen after a struggle on the cargo hold. Okay. Let's go. Bye, Olsen.
Where the hell did Alex go? How did he get separated from Julia? And where did she come from? Oh, it's daytime. Hey, we're all here. Oh, is this the end? It seems like that's the place like where everyone meets together at the end. So did all the pirates die? Uh, the Asian guy, Jimmy, he was dead on the table in front of Olsen. Junior shot himself and Olsen got squished by the door. So, yep, they're all dead. And we all survived. <laughs> Next thing you know, there's a shark attack. I was with you. Uh, is that the end? Fading to black. Hey, credits. Oh, man, what a game. Oh, it's also like four o'clock in the morning and I'm exhausted. <laughs> Why did I play this all one night? Hey, welcome back. Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something, I suppose. Didn't think I can do it, did you? I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope. Maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Okay, see you then. Ugh. Alright, um, I'll let these credits play out. I usually do that at the end of the... Oops. 
I usually do that at the end of games to, you know, give people their due. Or give. Get, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm too tired. Anyway, that wasn't a bad game. It was, you know, kind of like... The whole plot of, like, there wasn't any real supernatural. It was just gold. It was just a chemical it's interesting but i would have just like you know supernatural <laughs> or maybe there is the chemical but there is really supernatural on top of it maybe that would have been too much i don't know but like you gotta figure it out pretty early on even if you don't know what's happening because like everyone's saying like did you see that? No. Did you see that? No, what are you talking about? Like, am I only, am I only seeing this? Yes. Oh. Weird. What's going on? I, am I... And then, like, you... If you actually explore around, you find out hallucinations and shit. The guy even tells you not everything is what it seems. Also, I feel like the acting was very... Ugh. And like even like the facial capture, it's like there's a uh, clips of like when they're usually like when they do facial capture, it's like dots on the face, and sometimes you see like them warming up the face so I like, get it used to like the program. So they like, they make weird faces like like they really express their muscle in their faces. And this seems <laughs> seems like they were doing it the entire time. A lot of the facial just seemed like over exaggerated and a bit weird uh, yeah this came out maybe a year and a half ago and then they wanted to do a game every six months and have you like an anthology so it's like new story new characters new plots I guess the curator will be carrying over from time to time to keep it connected. Little Hope was the next one, which they teased here. <laughs> Cut to a year and a half later, it's finally coming out. Don't know what they're going to do after that. If it's going to be like they're back on track for six months or if it's going to be like a year or so. Because now with COVID and Corona, it's probably harder to get actors uh, in casting studios, or in the performance studio, performing, capture performance places, studios. It's very tired. I don't know why I keep going on. Uh, also, not many of the characters were likable. Alex was a fucking idiot. Fliss, she's gotta be working with the pirates. Why? What makes you think that? Ugh. Even... Well... Yeah. And some of the things... It just didn't make too much sense. Like... Hey, where's Brad? Why are you yelling? There's pirates right there and they don't know. Baby Brad can help us. Shut the fuck up! They can hear you! I don't care if you're in the middle of the ocean and there's a storm. And even, I get it's part of the game, like, with making decisions, like, uh, 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 which way do I go? But, like, come on. Like, even, like, when the guy's slowly walking behind them, he's, like, right beyond. No, oh, here we go. Hello. Yeah, you're still alive. Okay. Oh, the helicopter. Oh, yeah, we're not there anymore. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, at least you found your ship. I don't know if this was lost to you all. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. 
Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. Whoa. What the hell is this? Danny's gone crazy. I just saw someone in the woods. Oh, is this like a Is this a trailer for the next one? Okay, very good. What's that guy's name? In the hunger or not the hungry games, uh Maze Runner. Where are the Millers, right? Oh, here we go. Some real supernatural. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, yep. Little Hope coming out October you know, like 29th or 30th or something. 31st? Halloween? Two weeks from me recording today all right that's the man of my dan yay <laughs> i'm just too tired all right really quick i'm just gonna do a ranking uh so if you don't why am i like so far off to the side of my webcam so if you don't know i rank games based on 10 points of uh, five categories each of two points each those categories are design gameplay story worth the money and funness uh, starting with design, design was okay. I mean, it wasn't spectacular or anything. It was average. It was okay. It was as good as Until Dawn, but I even feel like then it was a little bit better. Here, like I said, the facial performances were kind of weird. It seems like they were a bit over-exaggerated. Uh, game looked good, you know? The detail was all right. They did a good job of, like, the eerie-sounding ghost ship stuff. Uh, yeah, it was on that. It was average all around, so I'll give it a one. The gameplay, uh, it's simple gameplay. You walk around, you pick stuff up, QTEs. The camera, which I hate, the fixed camera positions, I hate that. There wasn't even that many quick time events. There was, like, only like a handful. You'd think they would have had more. Or like more in-depth ones. And you know, it's just... it's You can lose characters at any time. Eh, gameplay, I'll give a one, two. It was average. I hated the camera. Uh, fixed positions. Story. I talked about this when the credits were rolling. It was... An okay story. I didn't really like most of the characters, except... Conrad. <laughs> Conrad was funny. Brad was just there. Fliss was okay. You're, you know, you're the captain. I believe it. And then Julie and Alex were just like, whatever. You're both fucking idiots. The pirates. They were pff, just pirates. Oh, give me the gold. Roar. Uh, the whole plot of it not being a real ghost ship, but being a chemical from the military. Triggers hallucinations. <sighs> it was okay. Yeah, story I'll give a zero. I enjoy it, really. I like Supernatural. You make a scary game, make it Supernatural. Have fun with it. Hallucinations aren't fun because you know there's no danger. Next up, worth the money. Uh, How much was this when it came out? Like 30 bucks, I want to say? I think it was 30 because Little Hope is 30, you know, or it's coming out soon and it's 30 bucks. Uh, good thing they didn't charge full price for this. Uh, 
So it's like a five to six hour campaign. You could replay it many different times, either by yourself, with multiple people, with someone else. With a game like this, it is, I would say, hard to not have bugs. And I didn't notice any, even though this is like a year later. Worth the money? Yeah, I'll say, I'll say two. There's not really any bugs I notice. You do get your hours worth out of the 30 bucks it only costs. I get up on, I have it on Game Pass, so it's even better for me. But yeah, I'll say two. It's worth it. And now, uh, funness. I mean, I, I, I was scared a few times, but also I am. I know some things that do happen in this game because I've seen gameplays. You know everything, but new enough ish. Even then, I feel like I wouldn't even be like too interested. With this kind of game, I want to feel like constant terror. There were times where, even when I was being chased, I wasn't too scared. I was just too scared of messing up. Not scared of like what's about to kill me or what's chasing me. Uh, funness, I'll give a one. Just because I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. And so we have a 5 out of 10 game. P pretty average. Exactly average. And I do want to rank this series, but it's, this is the only game for now. So it's a number one. And we'll rank it when Little Hope comes out and I play through that. So that's going to do it for the main of Medan. I might come back to get the rest of these achievements. Yeah, there's a few for replayability. Like save only the men, only the women, and then kill everyone. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do it for the main of Medan. Uh, it was an okay game. You know, it's Game Pass right now, so you can go play if you want. Get some achievements. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.